To understand the Call of Duty Black Ops series before the release of Black Ops 6, it's crucial to familiarize yourself with the key elements and maybe some recurring themes that have defined the campaign throughout its entirety. Today we're going to be looking at a breakdown of some of the more important things to know before jumping into Black Ops 6. The Black Ops series is famous for its exploration of psychological manipulation espionage, and conspiracy theories. It usually dives deep into themes like mind control, deception, and the blurred lines between reality and illusion. The storyline often revolves around brainwashing and covert operations, which began back with Black Ops in 2010 and its infamous MKUltra-inspired numbers program. These elements here set the tone for the mini sequels that followed it, influencing character behaviors and narrative twist. <laughs> The campaigns of the Black Ops series cover multiple time periods, primarily focusing on the Cold War era, but also extending into the future from time to time. The original Black Ops is set during the 1960s, with missions taking place in Cold War hotspots like Vietnam and Cuba. Black Ops 2 introduced dual timelines, with events unfolding both in the 1980s and in 2025. Now, we won't need to know too much about 2025 for Black Ops 6, but we are going to have to be familiar with the 1980s aspects, as the 1980s affect what was happening during the 1990s in the Black Ops universe. <laughs> The protagonist Alex Mason and Frank Woods play crucial roles throughout the series, with Mason's story centering around his experience with brainwashing and his struggle to distinguish between reality and illusion. Frank Woods serves as a recurring character who basically anchors the narrative. He provides a connection across different timelines and the relationship that he has alongside his best friend Mason. All of this shapes the main storyline in Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2 even, and Black Ops Cold War. And speaking of Cold War, the story revisits Mason and Woods during the 1980s and bridges gaps between the original game and Black Ops 2, and is going to bridge even more gaps with the release of Black Ops 6. <laughs> The series also has many iconic villains who leave usually a lasting impact, such as Victor Reznov or Raul Menendez. Reznov, while initially appearing as an ally, plays a complex role in Mason's mind due to the influence of brainwashing. Menendez, on the other hand, was the primary antagonist of Black Ops 2, and he wanted to incite a global revolution against the United States because he felt that they wronged him. He was driven by a personal vendetta. The villains in Black Ops 2 are often portrayed as multidimensional, with motivations that go beyond mere evilness. They actually have an interesting story to them, and we hope to see another interesting story in Black Ops 6. Now, the series began integrating player-driven choices in Black Ops 2, where players' decisions could alter the outcome of the story. The campaign featured multiple endings, based on some key choices, such as whether to kill or spare some characters. These branching narratives added layers of replayability and moral complexity to the campaign mode and added weight to the different actions that we take because it can influence the storyline and this has become an essential part of the Black Ops experience. Now, real world events are often interwoven into the storyline giving the series a gritty and semi-realistic feel. The paranoia of the Cold War with the fear of its Soviet influence and nuclear annihilation serves as a backdrop for the original Black Ops and its sequel. The campaign incorporates real historical events, adding a layer of authenticity to the covert operations and conspiracies portrayed in the game. This is one of my favorite things about the Black Ops series because it makes it feel so much real. In comparison to Modern Warfare, that one feels real at times also, especially Modern Warfare 2019, but there's no real people in it and so sometimes it doesn't feel like it's part of our world but with black ops you see president reagan you see president clinton you see saddam hussein you see all these people that are real and they're written into the story in some way shape or form and i think that is brilliant and i love that about the black ops series now as black ops 6 approaches it's important to remember that all of these key aspects will play a potentially big role for the new game i would expect these themes of mind control shifting allegiances and the evolving nature of warfare to remain a key part of the series keeping track of character relationships historical context and other important things in the story 
will likely be essential for making sense of the narrative direction in Black Ops 6. I'm definitely excited to see what happens, and I cannot wait.